mechanism that is utterly sick. So she says that education uh, rules uh, follow Soviet standards uh, which are outdated and modern institutions uh, preach uh, only one doctrine. Uh, she says that uh, prison is uh, Russian in miniature and she was uh, sincere in her uh, statement that she regretted her act. And uh, now the third girl says that uh, after the uh, presidential camp race started, uh, they uh, got together. There was a certain artistic group that was established, and when they heard that Mr. Putin uh, will run for a third term, she says they were excited and uh, they got inspiration from uh, other feminist groups. Uh, then they joined in a pussy riot group and uh, their focus was not on uh, faces but on the images. That's why they use ballot flowers of bright colors. Uh, their focus they never asked for, for uh, permission for their protest uh, uh, rally. Uh, they say it surprises part of their performance. They uh, performed uh, on uh, Red Square. They performed uh, uh, on uh, trolleys, uh, on uh, the buildings of metro stations, and they protested uh, against the fact that Patriarch supported uh, Vladimir Putin. They used uh, the old tra Russian tra folklore tradition uh, as a prayer which is uh, ad addressed to Virgin Mary. They were against uh, the law uh, which uh, introduced a ban on uh, LGBT propaganda. They were also against Mr. Putin as the uh, president of Russia. She's an orthodox, she has icons at home. She does not uh, experience any hatred towards uh, Christian believers. And uh, on the 21st of February, they came to the cathedral to express uh, their protest against Putin because Patriot, the Patriarch supported Vladimir Putin. Uh, she, she said that uh, they picked the time uh, which uh, when there was no service so as not to offend uh, a lot of uh, uh, parishioners. They found a place in the heart of the center, in the heart of the cathedral. There were. They, they, she said that they were looking for a place and they found a place where there were lot, some carpets that they were not about to enter the altar. They just uh, they got into that place and put, uh, took off the clothing and started to take out the guitar. Someone uh, took her and uh, removed her from the place. She left the cathedral, did not try to get back. She did not take part in the creation or the uploading of the video clip to the internet. No one warned her about uh, the rules of conduct uh, before she entered the cathedral. No one um, detained her when she left. The court believes that uh, the three defendants uh, are guilty of uh, committing the offense. The testimony of defendants and the victims uh, are deemed fair and uh, acceptable. The court uh, deems uh, that uh, they are consistent with other testimonies, uh, despite the fact that they uh, 
pled not guilty, their guilt is proven by the testimonies. The candle lady uh, in her testimony said that uh, she's a believer, an orthodox believer, and she works as a member of the staff uh, of the Christ the Savior Cathedral. She has a contract uh, with the, uh, the cathedral, with the sacristan. So her working day arrives at 5 a.m. and then at 10 a.m. the cathedral opens its doors to the visitors and closes its doors to 6 p.m. On the 21st of uh, no, February, and at about 11 a.m., she was uh, right near the candles. A uh, Lieutenant Telekonikova came up to her and asked her where shall they put the candles. Tolokonik was looking at the altar and Solkogor Square, the candle lady, turned round and saw uh, some noise. She saw the three girls opening the gate and uh, she experienced an inner pain. She rushed for the gate, warning the girls that they should not enter the sacred place. But uh, Telekonikova, Alexei, and Alekhina were there. She wanted to follow them, but she was uh, pushed aside by someone. One of the girls she tried to hold uh, brushed her aside, and uh, they reached the ambon before the sacred doors. She, however, did not enter that place because no woman is uh, allowed to enter that place. And at uh, that time, uh, the other group members uh, ran onto the uh, Ambon. She tried to warn them again, but they ignored her. She threw the, uh, their bags around, they took off their clothing, they put on uh, balaclavas, uh, and they were still in their dresses uh, with their shoulders and knees open, which was unacceptable for the church. And they opened the guitar and started to jerk around, uh, hopping, twirling their heads and moving their hands and uh, shouting some insulting and very blasphemous words about uh, Virgin Mary, about the Patriarch. It was a planned action. It was done simul almost simultaneously, and uh, it was uh, there was one commander, and they had uh, roles divided, and the parishioners, uh, the staff were shocked by their actions. There was also some people who accompanied them, and uh, they also entered the sacred place, uh, the fenced off place. They recorded it. Uh, the candle lady warned these people that they, it's forbidden for them to be there. And video recording is also forbidden there, and there is a sign that warns at the a door of the church. She saw some other people there, people standing there and uh, recording a video of that. She demanded they stop the video recording, started to push them to the exit. And until feelings as a believer were insulted, deeply insulted, and to stop these actions, uh, which ignore the feelings of uh, believers, she called for help. She never thought that could take place in the main building of uh, the Orthodox Church, uh, the monument which was built to mark the 1812 uh, building patriotic war against Napoleon. But she could not uh, push them to the exit, but soon came the security guards, but uh, they uh, 
shouted uh, the words they previously heard. There was no music, there was no songs, there were no slogans. All she heard was just words which uh, inflict severe pain and insult to believers. It's not the way to behave in a church. There was about 50 people there. They were all dressed according to the rules of the church. Uh, the kind of lady filed a complaint to the uh, police. She saw the video clip, she saw the text, uh, and so the video containing the images, and this is also insulting to her, to her feelings as a Christian, and to all other Christians. Uh, and that was all done to strike her, uh, to uh, inflict the pain, moral pain, and that was done in the last week uh, before Lent. The candle lady identified Lakonikova as the girl who was part of the group that, uh, that uh, committed that uh, sacrilegious act in Christ the Savior Cathedral. She identified a Lerchner as a member of the Pussy Riot group who was uh, in insulting clothing and two together with Telekonikova, Samsevich and other identified associates conducted a gross violation of public order. The sacristan in his testimony said that uh, at uh, about uh, 11.20, he heard some noise and he rushed to the uh, Ambon together with the security guard. She saw some girls dressed uh, unacceptably. They were dressed uh, in uh, bright clothes, uh, shouted profanities, uh, uh, danced and jerked. Uh, their behavior was not, uh, was unbefitting and violated all imaginable and unimaginable commonly accepted rules of behavior in a church. Telekonika and Delechino were among them. Such behavior insulted his uh, religious feelings and the feelings of other parishioners who were there and some of them cried, some of them asked uh, uh, so they could stop. He decided to help the two security guards because he saw that they would not be able to uh, stop that act. The uh, girl, when she he tried to push the girl uh, from the ambon, she uh, tried to, she uh, dropped to her knees and started to cross herself uh, with her back to the altar, which is unacceptable. And uh, then he pushed her aside, he took off the balaclava mask from her and saw her face. Then he saw another girl, Telekonikova, who was without her balaclava mask. And there were four girls, the fifth was pushed away by the security guard. There were other girls, there were other people who prevented them from pushing these girls uh, out of the building. He believes that the actions of the girl were aggressive and insulting. They used uh, profanities and uh, he saw the video clip with the actions uh, that insult the feelings of the believers. Their reactions and the video clip with the text uh, with the actions uh, that insult the feelings separately and together are insulting and displeasing to the feelings, to his feelings and the feelings of all believers, which increases his uh, pain in the uh, last week before Lent. And he identified Telekonikova as one of those who were then 
in the cathedral last week before Lent. And yet, according to the records, as one of those who were there, Mr. Stomin also identified Alerchen as uh, a person who was there in acceptable clothing, who, together with some such Laconica and other unknown individuals, uh, conducted that gross violation of public conduct. Mr. Suganyuk, another uh, man who testified, also said uh, that he's a uh, Christian believer and uh, he works in the, as an altar server. He prepares everything for the service and his member is, helps in the service and then cleans uh, on Solia and the Ambon. These are the sacred places uh, in church. Uh, that's where women are not allowed to be. They are only allowed to be uh, there during the wedding ceremony. So he came in early in the morning and started to prepare for the service. At around 11.20, he saw uh, dancing girls. They were shouting uh, and uh, profanities. And they were dressed unacceptably. They uh, hopped around, and jerked. They uh, acted uh, in a simultaneous way, in a planned way. They uh, violated the normal functioning of the church. He was deeply, he was deeply impressed. Uh, they uh, did not sing anything about Mr. Putin. The words about Putin were added later to the video clip, so that inflicted a severe pain uh, to his soul. Uh, the girls uh, had the bags and clothing which were thrown after they started performing, and there were also in that sacred area there were people who took pictures and uh, did the video recording of that. He says uh, that there are special rules, and you could see those rules uh, on that notice uh, of, on the entrance, uh, the entrance of the cathedral. He is a Orthodox believer, observes all uh, the uh, norms uh, and traditions and rituals. Uh, he wants uh, he wants to get uh, clerical education. He's been working as a psalm reader. Uh, he prepares uh, for the service. He also helps uh, the priest uh, in any way possible. On the 21st of February, he arrived at the uh, cathedral and started uh, going about his routine chores. At about 11.20, he saw some sound through the microphone. He went out through the altar to Salia, to the sacred place. He saw these women jumping around. There were other, about three or four people who took pictures of these girls. Since the actions of these girls are sacrilegious, a blasphemous, he, as a believer, was insulted and decided to stop this horrible act. The altar server, Jelizov, altar boy, altar server, Jelizov, tried to push them from the Ambon. He demanded that these girls stop these uh, sacrilegious actions. But the girl star continued dancing and ignored his uh, call. They shouted uh, blasphemous words which insult God, and they were in close proximity to the sacred place. Then they started to bow and uh, cross 
continuing shouting the same blasphemous words which he believes uh, is an insult to all the believers. He believes that these girls did not only aim to insult believers, but they had a name to bring uh, more attention to their act by taking the video recording of their act. Later, together with security guards, they pushed them aside from the ambon. Some of the girls took their bags and clothing, which were piled in front of the altar, and pushed them aside from the front of the fr sacred words, which could be only entered by priests. They were all dressed in balaclava masks. They were dressed in bright tights and short dresses. So this uh, type of dress is forbidden to wear in a church. They dressed uh, in this way specifically to express their disrespect for church rules. It means that they were in in intent to express their discontent, disrespect for the believers. After that, uh, he was shocked. He deems that this was a desecration. After that, uh, he saw the video clip of the so-called punk prayer, Virgin Mary drive Putin away, deems that this was a desecration. The actions of the girls uh, at the cathedral and the video clip with the lyrics are different to their actions in the cathedral, actual actions in the cathedral. He, what he saw in the video clip was political protest against the Patrick and Putin, while in the church he only heard uh, blasphemous words uh, against uh, insulting God. What he saw in the video clip was political protest against the Patrick and Putin, while and uh, he says that in the video clip uh, they uh, imitate uh, uh, gospels, uh, which uh, is uh, a grave uh, violation uh, of the norms and uh, inflicts uh, severe pain. He also says that this is uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral is the main cathedral of the uh, state. Uh, part of the video was also shot in the Bogoyevlensky Cathedral, and he says it was done state to bring about uh, an insult to incite hatred and enmity against uh, believers bring about uh, and uh, he claims moral damage and based on this testimony uh, and he later confirmed this testimony Mr. Zelizov uh, in his testimony he confirmed that uh, he is an orthodox believer he takes part in the uh, ceremonies and services follows the rules and that uh, he has clerical education he wants to become a priest he is a member of the staff of the Christ the Savior Cathedral he is a altar server and the, on the 21st uh, of the February he has clerical education he came uh, to his work and started to do his usual routine things and at about 11.20 he saw a woman shouting for help he saw four women in front of the altar shouting things and jerking around as they were dressed in bright tights and masks and he saw other people standing there and taking pictures. Mr. Jalazov was shocked. He uh, 
went to the Salia, to the Ambon, who decided to stop these actions immediately. They were shouting simultaneously blasphemous words. And this place is forbidden for entrance to women. And only priests and altar service could, uh, stand, could stand there. He tried to push them away from that place. He's, he uh, ran up to the girl who was dressed in an uh, orange balaclava mask. Uh, the girl ignored his call. Then he took her by the hand and tried to take her outside. Uh, the girl broke loose, uh, ran to the other side of the ambon and continued her actions. She danced uh, along with the girls. They all shouted blasphemous words, insulting God. He tried to uh, push away the second girl, but she uh, dropped to her knees and started to cross. Uh, musical instruments were used there, uh, but it's forbidden to use musical instruments in a church uh, building. He believes that uh, um, he has sustained moral, suffered moral damage, and uh, that uh, the girl's actions uh, were clearly motivated by hatred and enmity, which uh, is an insult uh, to the uh, all believers. Uh, he tried to push the girls away from the Ambon, but uh, they broke loose, they pushed them, uh, ignoring their actions and uh, uh, continuing. He saw that one man with a camera uh, came up to the Ambon and took the, started taking video. Yarizev tried to um, extract one of the girls in an orange balaclava from the cathedral. Uh, all the girls were dressed in uh, short uh, dresses and colorful clothes in balaclava heads. Uh, he also saw fragments of the footage um, uh, posted on the internet, although there was uh, also a difference because when in the cathedral they only shouted blasphemizing slogans and, and demonstrated their disrespect and uh, em enmity toward uh, the Orthodox uh, faith and uh, the Orth Orthodox Christians, uh, but uh, there were also things um, in the footage posted on the internet that was not there, such as a song about uh, uh, Holy Mary and the Patriarch, uh, which are an insult to uh, Orthodox Christianity. Um, parts of the song imitate um, uh, church hymns, uh, which only uh, increases the uh, blasphemizing effect. Um, he does not, uh, the, the, the um, victim does not accept uh, uh, apologies uh, of the defendants. Uh, victim Bela Glazov has uh, testified that he is uh, a security guard at the cathedral. He guarded uh, the inner uh, rooms of the cathedral, and uh, his duties uh, included uh, guarding the territory of the, of the cathedral, guarding the entrance, um, and uh, checking um, visitors for uh, being dressed in the right way and behaving uh, in the right fashion for being inside a church, as well as preventing other uh, offenses um, against uh, order in the church. At the entrance uh, to the cathedral, uh, information about uh, the rules of conduct is posted uh, on a stand. Uh, besides, uh, uh, there are also uh, leaflets about uh, the rules of conduct in the cathedral um, lying on the table right next to the entrance. Uh, uh, victim Bela Glazov started his shift uh, at uh, the cathedral at uh, about 12 p.m. on the day. He saw a group of foreign tourists who were trying to make uh, photos of the altar, um, which is against the rules uh, in the cathedral. So Bela Glazov walked up to that group and uh, demanded them to, um, uh, to finish f uh, making pictures. Then he heard uh, shouts for help and saw a group of uh, about five uh, girls uh, um, pushing aside uh, uh, victim Sol Sokologorskaya, who was trying to contain them and prevent them from entering to the sodium. Um, in the middle of the cathedral, the girls uh, took off their uh, dark uh, clothes, um, uh, put on their balaclavas, and uh, they were left in uh, brightly 
uh, colored clothes. Uh, one of the girls uh, uh, took out uh, a, a, an, uh, an electric guitar from um, a coffer and started uh, switching it on to um, uh, uh, to a loudspeaker. Mm, Victim Belaglazov also saw other people entering the cathedral and making pictures. He realized this is a provocation and someone support. Then he quickly came up to uh, defendant Samutsevich, who was the girl with the guitar. He took uh, her by the guitar with one hand, and he was pushing her with his other hand, uh, with which he was also holding, uh, holding a radio. Uh, defendant Samutsevich was uh, resisting and tr trying to go back. She grabbed uh, his radio from him, so he dropped her guitar and took his radio uh, from her. He demanded the girls to uh, leave the premises and uh, uh, cut out uh, their indecent uh, conduct. Um, he also warned them they, they are not uh, supposed to be present uh, in this sodium. Um, his demands were ignored by the girls, um, who were also um, yelling uh, words of insult against um, Holy Mary and uh, God, uh, as well as imita imitating satanic movements with their hands. Um, he pushed uh, 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 Mr. Belaglazov pushed uh, defendant Samutsevich uh, uh, on the other side of the uh, metal detector fence um, and went back to uh, get the other uh, culprits. Um, while he was still escorting Samutsevich, he looked back and saw the girls uh, uh, dancing and, and making improper movements uh, uh, as they danced, uh, shouting insults uh, uh, to God and uh, uh, yelling, uh, Holy Mary, become a feminist. Uh, other guards were trying to catch the uh, perpetrators and get them out of the cathedral, but they kept running around and uh, continuing with their performance. He saw uh, one of the parish people and uh, uh, security uh, uh, get out uh, one of the girls uh, uh, whose um, balaclava was already removed from her head. Uh, this turned out to be Maria Alehina. He then saw one more girl being escorted outside the cathedral. She was wearing a green dress and her balaclava was uh, pulled up to the top of her face. Uh, this girl turned out to be Nadezhda Tolokonnikova, one of the defendants. Victim Belaglazov believes that the, the behavior of the girls was blasphemy and an insult to, to a sacred place, um, that this insulted uh, uh, the feelings of religious people, including himself. And uh, he testified that uh, religious believers, uh, um, uh, people of the parish, were demanding for this blasphemy to be stopped. Uh, he believes that he incurred uh, moral losses. Um, due to their performance. Uh, when uh, the security and the parish people were escorting uh, the girls outside the cathedral, uh, unidentified um, um, individuals uh, were uh, filming all the process despite uh, uh, a ban on uh, video and uh, photo footage in the cathedral, which is posted uh, large and clear at the entrance to the cathedral. Some uh, of the citizens who were at the cathedral at the moment ignored these uh, rules. Victim Belaglazov managed to um, detain only three people, only three of the group, who presumably were making video footage of the event. The girls themselves uh, managed to escape. Their uh, activity, activities uh, pa paralyzed the, uh, the work of the cathedral, and many uh, Orthodox believers expressed their discontent at the event. Um, victim Belaglazov then saw the video um, uh, with the footage of that performance posted on the internet. It contained uh, music which was not played uh, at the time at the cathedral. He believes this video uh, insults uh, the feelings of uh, Orthodox uh, believers. He, he does not work at the cathedral since then because uh, he finds it very difficult and painful for him. He is ready to accept the apologies of the defendants, but he uh, suspects that they are not um, sincere. 
he mistakenly uh, uh, he mistakenly identified uh, Tolokonikova uh, during the identification process, um, and then he um, identified uh, Samutsevich, uh, 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 pardon Maria Alokina, as um, uh, the girl wearing uh, uh, the, the green dress. According to the protocol for identification, victim Bela Glazov identified Maria Alyokhina as uh, uh, the uh, individual who was uh, present uh, at the cathedral on the given date, uh, uh, wearing uh, uh, improper clothes and behaving in an improper fashion, uh, which was uh, disrespectful and insulting for the feelings of the, of the religious people. According to the identification protocol, uh, victim Bela Glazov also identified uh, uh, defendant Samutsevich as uh, one of the individuals who was there at the cathedral uh, dressed improperly and acting in uh, an insulting and disrespectful manner. Uh, victim uh, Vinograd of uh, uh, testified that he is uh, an Orthodox believer. He has worked uh, uh, as a deputy uh, power specialist at the cathedral starting from January 2011. Uh, on the specific day, he was um, in the upper floors of the cathedral when he heard uh, uh, cries for help and saw uh, several individuals uh, at the sodium behaving improperly, wearing uh, bright dresses with uh, open sleeves, with, with open hands, uh, uh, and wearing balaclava masks were um, at the altar, which was uh, banned, uh, uh, which is banned by the rules of the cathedral. Um, he believed that they were acting inadequately, um, and uh, he realized why there were cries for help. Um, their, their conduct uh, uh, was... Um, against uh, the uh, rules of behavior in church, and uh, uh, they also insulted his feelings as, as an Orthodox believers. He walked up to one of the girls who were continuing to dance without paying attention to uh, the um, aggrieved uh, yells of the parish people. He took her by the hand um, and uh, escorted her by uh, the hand to the entrance. Uh, in the process, he took off uh, um, the head from the head and realized that, uh, and uh, this girl turned out to be Maria Alohina. Uh, the um, dress of the um, of the girls uh, was contrary to the uh, cathedral's dress code uh, and to the rules of the cathedral, which are posted outside uh, the cathedral. Uh, the actions of the girls insulted his feelings as a believer. He saw the video um, uh, in uh, uh, posted in the internet, and he believes uh, the. Um, uh, and and, and uh, he believes uh, the song uh, does not uh, reflect everything that happened in the cathedral. Mr. Vinogradov believes uh, that uh, the apologies of the defendants were insincere and he does not accept them. He did not hear any political slogans uh, in the uh, cathedral from, from the defendants. He did not um, see them uh, cross themselves either. He only saw them dance uh, waving their uh, arms and uh, uh, legs. From the defendants, he did not um, see them uh, cross themselves either. He only saw them dance. Victim Amasova testified that she is uh, uh, a deeply religious uh, Orthodox believer, that she um, observes all the church rules, all the fasting, um, and all the rituals of uh, Orthodox Christianity. She works in the Christ uh, the Savior Cathedral as a salesperson selling um, candles and uh, uh, collecting um, notes with names for prayers. She came to work that day, and uh, at about uh, 20 past 11 in the morning, he saw a group of girls in bright uh, dresses in the cathedral. They dropped their backpacks and took off their clothes, then they uh, uh, took out their balaclava masks and uh, put them on. Um, the girls, uh, therefore, uh, looked inappropriate for a cathedral in short uh, dresses uh, with open hands. Uh, they were there right in front of the altar, and they were... Um, 
behaving in a way that was deeply insulting for a religious person, uh, jumping, uh, thrusting their heads, and uh, waving their arms. Uh, they were also shouting out something that that uh, the victim did not re uh, did not understand. Uh, um, there were also people uh, making photographs uh, in a distance uh, uh, from the girls in the cathedral, which was also against the rules of the cathedral. As uh, a believer, Ms. Masova felt insulted and decided to put an end to it immediately. She saw security guards uh, try to uh, escort the girls uh, from the Amvon, uh, but uh, they were unsuccessful because the girls kept uh, scattering around and, 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 and moving around. So Ms. Masova turned to parish people to uh, ask them for uh, support. She saw two members of the parish and one employee of the uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral Foundation um, uh, go to the scene to assist security, the security guards. Besides dancing, the girls also were, were falling on their knees and uh, uh, putting a, the sign of a cross uh, on themselves. Um, uh, Ms. Amosova found this deeply insulting as a believer. She ran up to the, um, uh, to the fence uh, that separated the central part of, of the uh, cathedral. She also noticed that the, the uh, uh, girls' um, uh, dresses were too short, so when they actually bowed and, and, and made, uh, made bows, uh, um, their upper thighs were exposed, which she also found uh, insulting. Uh, she believes that their actions uh, uh, deeply affected her religious beliefs and uh, insulted them. She also saw the video on the internet, and she believes it does not uh, reflect fully what actually happened in the cathedral. The song from the video was not played, actually, in the cathedral. She did not hear any political slogans from the girls uh, during their performance. She believes the, the cathedral was in, has been insulted. Uh, she believes she hasn't heard moral um, uh, uh, damages. She believes uh, that the apologies of the defendants are insincere, and she does not accept them. Um, Victim Shin Shilin uh, testified uh, in court that he is a deeply religious person. Um, he follows all the uh, rituals, rules, and fasting of uh, Orthodox Christianity. He works um, in the security agency that uh, guards uh, the, the cathedral. His duties include guarding the territory of the cathedral, uh, guarding the entrance uh, uh, of uh, visitors coming to the cathedral, and preventing uh, disruption of public order, as well as uh, taking actions uh, um, to, uh, to extract uh, uh, offenders from the cathedral in case they violate the rules of uh, conduct in the cathedral. He, he had his shift in the cathedral together with Mr. Belaglazov, Patankin, and Kostenko on the day in question. Uh, at about 11 o'clock in the morning, um, his uh, post was next to the metal det detector frame. Um, he saw yells for help at, uh, at around 11.20. Uh, um, he, he and Patankin ran inside the, the cathedral, and he saw a number of girls uh, wearing colorful with balaclavas and uh, open sleeve uh, um, dresses uh, being right next to the altar, which is contrary to church rules. Uh, their behavior was uh, improper and offensive. Uh, they yelled something insulting about God and uh, Mother Mary and chaotically waved their hands and legs. Uh, um, there were no political slogans shouted. The conduct of the girls in their dress was uh, contrary to church rules. Their uh, action um, affected and insulted uh, Mr. Schilling. There were people uh, with cameras standing next to the girls and taking uh, footage of everything that happened. Uh, parish people uh, were um, uh, complaining and uh, crying. Um, the the uh, victim came up to one of the um, uh, uh, people with the cameras and uh, took uh, their cameras from them. The um, apparatus was on and it, and it was uh, um, uh, making sounds uh, which uh, uh, proved that it was operational. Um, the girls were escorted by other security guards. Uh, unidentified individuals were filming the whole process despite uh, the uh, ban on filming. The conduct of the girls was aggressive and uh, insulting. So 
also victim Bela Glas of uh, Cement Police. Um, the girls' activities uh, were openly disrespectful of Christian traditions uh, and uh, um, and uh, insulting to um, regular Christians. Uh, uh, he believes that the girls' uh, uh, performance um, was a deep insult to all the Christians uh, and as a blasphemy, uh, as a de desecration of the cathedral. He saw the video in the, in the internet and he believes that um, uh, the video did not reflect uh, what was going on in the cathedral at the time. The song was not played in the cathedral and there were not um, any political uh, slogans um, uh, at the cathedral in the moment. Um, he, uh, the uh, victim does not uh, accept uh, the apologies by the defendants. Uh, victim Potankin uh, testified that he is a religious person um, uh, and he uh, works as a security guard in the cathedral. There is information about the rules of conduct in the cathedral posted outside uh, the cathedral. On the given day, um, he was uh, uh, on shift uh, uh, as a security guard in the cathedral when he heard yells uh, for help. When the uh, uh, candle uh, seller ran up to the security guard's post and told them that something bad was happening in the cathedral. Um, he saw about uh, 10 to 20 visitors in the cathedral at the moment, uh, some of them taking pictures was, which was against the rules. Uh, Mr. Potankin went into the middle of the cathedral and saw a group of about uh, five girls who were um, at the sodium right next to the altar. They, yelled, they were yelling something and, and waving their hands. He tried to extract one of the girls, uh, Samutevich, who did not have her balaclava on. Uh, together with uh, Mr. Belaglazov, Mr. Potankin escorted um, Samutevich outside the cathedral and went back. Um, then Alyokhina was escorted outside uh, by uh, Bela Glazov. Potankin told uh, the senior uh, security guard who summoned police. Um, he feels uh, insulted. He believes that this was uh, blasphemy and normal operation of the cathedral was disrupted. He also saw the video on the internet and considers it false. The song was not played and the, the, the political slogan uh, were not sounded. Um, uh, however, he will withdraw uh, further claims toward the girls. Mr. Potankin has testified that he uh, considers himself a believer. However, he will withdraw further claims. Toward the girls. Mr. Potankin, um, he works as, as a security guard uh, in the cathedral starting from uh, uh, April 2010. Uh, his duties are um, looking out for a public order in the cathedral and ext extracting offenders. On February 21st, uh, 2012, um, he started his uh, shift at 10 in the morning together with the Mr. Spela Glazov Shilin and Kastenko. And at about 11 a.m., he took his position next to the metal detector frame. Before that, he was in the cathedral. The security guards at the cathedral change their positions every hour, swap their positions every hour. Uh, over 50 people entered the cathedral uh, um, during his shift, uh, so he actually got a good, good uh, vision of all of them. He also saw the electric guitar uh, carried by one of the um, uh, young men accompanying the group, um, bringing in a uh, musical instrument, especially if they are uh, sealed and uh, not played, is, is not against the rules in the cathedral. Therefore, he let them through. Uh, everybody was entering the cathedral were dressed properly in, in accordance with the, with the rules. Uh, he also saw people uh, walking with uh, uh, cameras, uh, carrying cameras, which were uh, in cases. Uh, which were encased and, and closed and turned off, which is not against ch church rules, th which is why he did not uh, prevent these people from entering the cathedral. At about 11.20, he heard uh, yells for help, a uh, uh, party coming from the ladies working in the cathedral. He, w he asked one of the ladies to um, uh, change him. Uh, to take his place at the post and together with uh, another security guard, Jilin, he ran inside the cathedral. He saw a group of girls uh, dressed uh, uh, in defiance of uh, church rules uh, in uh, uh, short and brightly colored uh, dresses uh, 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 
jumping and dancing right next to the altar, which is also against the rules. Uh, they were waving their hands and legs chaotically, um, as he said, uh, uh, violating all the, uh, uh, every possible norm and rule. Um, of public order and, and uh, church rules. Uh, this insulted his feelings as uh, an Orthodox Christianity. Um, he also saw other believers asking the girls to um, stop their improper conduct. Um, he rushed in to stop the performance and he saw some of the girls uh, were already um, uh, without their balaclavas. He does not know who had removed uh, those uh, heads, th those, those caps. He took one of the girls uh, who did not have her balaclava on um, and uh, uh, escorted her uh, outside the cathedral and left her next to the metal detector frame. Later she turned out to be Samutsevich. Then the candle lady went hurried back to the cathedral and uh, uh, the victim uh, remained next to the metal frame and he saw other participants of the performance being escorted uh, outside the cathedral. They were standing next to the metal frame and did not um, try, did not attempt uh, re-entering the cathedral. After the uh, whole uh, ado was over, he w uh, he went back to his uh, usual um, uh, responsibilities. Later on, on the internet, he saw a video with the performance. Uh, uh, he believes uh, the video and the song to be insulting for his feelings as an Orthodox believer. Uh, so he believes himself to have uh, uh, suffered uh, moral damage. Later on, he learned that um, this, uh, 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 th th this misconduct was undertaken by um, the three defendants, uh, Ms. Tavokonikova, Alokina, and Samutsevich. Uh, this, uh, uh, victim uh, Patankin uh, has proved uh, uh, all the, de the de details of the, of the case uh, in his testimony. Uh, As a person who was uh, uh, present uh, at the cathedral uh, in uh, an improper fashion, uh, Mr. Lokonikova, uh, together with uh, Alokin and Samutsevich. Uh, according to the identification protocol, the victim uh, identified Ms. Samutsevich uh, as one of the people who was uh, there at the cathedral uh, and in an improper uh, dress and uh, um, taking um, disrespectful and blasphemizing action together with uh, other perpetrators. The victim uh, Ikobashvili has uh, testified in court that she is an Orthodox believer and uh, abides by all the rules and rituals of uh, Orthodox Christianity. She was um, at the Yilokhova Cathedral. Uh, she works at the Yilokhova Cathedral, but uh, on the day of the performance, she was at the Christ the Savior Cathedral um, when she heard the sounds of music and saw a girl uh, wearing a light, uh, colorful dress uh, um, and uh, wearing a colorful balaclava head who was uh, dancing and uh, uh, jerking uh, to that music. This is how the, the uh, victim realized that something was wrong. She uh, also saw uh, victims uh, Zhukov and Kapustin uh, addressing the girls uh, and asking them to leave, to vacate the cathedral. The group was uh, right next to the Holy Mary icon. The girls uh, spent less than one minute in the cathedral. Therefore, the victim cannot uh, testify as to how many people there actually were in the cathedral. Uh, much less is she capable of identifying them because they were all wearing balaclava masks. Um, after uh, the uh, guards and the parish people took out the perpetrators outside the cathedral, Father Alexander uh, resecrated, uh, sacramentized uh, the um, interior of the cathedral following this blasphemizing performance. Um, Having seen the uh, performance uh, on TV, uh, she felt deeply insulted. Uh, um, uh, according to church rules, uh, young girls and uh, uh, women uh, are not allowed to uh, approach the, the altar according to uh, church uh, uh, statutes. Later on, Victim Zhukova testified in court that she is a deeply religious Orthodox believer who abides by all the rules and traditions of uh, uh, 
Orthodox Christianity. She works as a, a sanitation uh, engineer in the Yelokova Cathedral in Moscow. She saw uh, right next to the icons of St. Catherine and St. Irina four young women in colorful balaclava heads. Uh, they were wearing no, um, no street dress, no, no, no upper dress. Uh, they were dressed in colorful short dresses. There was also one young man tuning in a microphone uh, right next to the girls. Uh, there was also a lighting um, appliance uh, uh, shedding light on the girls uh, in, the, in the cathedral. Um, the girls were not singing anything. Uh, they were only uh, imitating a guitar, a guitar performance. Uh, uh, victim Zhukova asked the girls uh, who had allowed them to be there and do what they were doing, but they did not answer. She tried to turn off uh, the, uh, the lamp. Uh, 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 music was also on, and the girls were wearing masks. Their dress was against the uh, rules of conduct in the church. Uh, victims uh, Zhukova, Iashvili, and Nomova uh, requested the girls to leave. Uh, but in fact, uh, effectively, they uh, pushed them outside the cathedral uh, into uh, a courtyard. Uh, the girls had uh, disrupted the work of the cathedral. Zhukova saw the three girls and one young man uh, wearing balaclava hats. Um, these, uh, their dances were, uh, were non-clerical, non-religious dances. Uh, their performance uh, um, insulted uh, her feelings as a Christian. She saw a video, uh, she did not see the video posted on the internet. Uh, victim Ryazantsev uh, testified um, in a preliminary uh, investigation according to Article 281 of the Russian Proceedings Code that back in uh, 1994, according to um, he, he was appointed uh, he was appointed a uh, uh, sacristan, uh, ecclesiarch of the cathedral. His activities uh, only uh, exist in cathedrals and only in case the ruling uh, hierarch uh, uh, is uh, actually uh, father superior of the cathedral. In this case, it is uh, the patriarch. On February 20, 21st, uh, 2012, uh, uh, the sacristan uh, came to the cathedral at, uh, at 10 in the morning. Uh, there are rules in all Orthodox cathedrals uh, uh, generally aimed uh, at preventing people from uh, disrupting each other's prayers. Uh, therefore, you're not allowed to wear bright dresses, uh, go be beyond the fence, and even talk loudly. Girls and women uh, are supposed to have their hair uh, covered and they, uh, they are supposed to behave uh, uh, calmly and moderately. People who would like to have a prayer for them must turn to a priest and only a priest uh, is uh, allowed to make prayers. Nobody is allowed to make prayers in public in a cathedral without a priest. There is no uh, strict uh, system of bans uh, uh, and restrictions uh, in the church. Um, they are all uh, rated uh, uh, based on uh, uh, each individual's uh, person, personal understanding of good and evil. It is, however, out of the question that uh, yelling, shouting, and dancing are forbidden in a cathedral. That is why the, the sacristan um, escorted the perpetrators outside uh, the cathedral. Since he believed uh, their presence uh, uh, in a cathedral in uh, brightly colored dresses uh, with open arms, uh, dresses uh, um, in, uh, and other performance uh, on the solium uh, were contrary to church rules uh, uh, since he is sure they knew, knew for sure uh, that th this was misconduct. Um, and he believes that he did this on purpose to inflict as much uh, moral pain on Christians as possible. Therefore, in uh, 
the, the uh, in the opinion of uh, Orthodox Christianity, um, in the eyes of uh, the sacristan, uh, the perpetrators uh, insulted uh, the true believers of uh, Orthodox Christianity. In the opinion of um, these actions cannot be uh, uh, determined uh, uh, as uh, counter-godly, as ungodly, but they look very much like the performances of the um, anti-believer union of the Bolshevik times back in the 1930s, who performed very similar uh, performances uh, to uh, desecrate uh, the Orthodox Church, which was then followed by direct repressions against the Church from the government. Therefore, uh, the sacristan believes uh, the performance was deeply hostile to Orthodox Christianity and to every single believer. He saw the video uh, on the internet uh, almost right after the, uh, the event, and he was infuriated by this uh, video as uh, a clergyman. He believes uh, that uh, this uh, video features actions which were uh, contrary to church rules, uh, uh, such as uh, uh, girls uh, being present at the sodium wearing uh, bright and short dresses, especially jumping, dancing, and using loudspeakers, uh, yelling of phrases, uh, blasphemizing phrases, and uh, leveling uh, insults against the hierarchy of the church. This was especially insulting the, uh, as, as, as this was done in a cathedral uh, where the patriarch is uh, Father Superior. Besides, uh, there are also blasphemous expressions uh, uh, in the song which are insulting to Jesus Christ and to the believers. In general, uh, these activities uh, uh, inflicted uh, pain on the religious beliefs, the religious feelings of believers, um, and uh, also provoked them for unlawful action. The insults of religious uh, feelings uh, and uh, uh, of uh, individual dignity of such a large uh, proportion uh, and such a, such a large community in Russia as Orthodox Christians is a threat to public security. Uh, also deliberate blasphemy against the church uh, oh, uh, he, he also would like to note that the rules uh, um, accepted by a church congress on February 4, 2012 uh, do not prevent uh, people from expressing their, their uh, beliefs and uh, opinion uh, in uh, um, inappropriate ways. But he believes that people who criticize uh, religious beliefs should not be allowed to express their opinions. Uh, besides, uh, uh, the requirements of uh, correctness and honesty must be observed in interreligious dialogues. Uh, uh, the freedom of speech and the expression of one's uh, beliefs must not be accompanied by blasphemy and insulting uh, speech. What happened on February 20, 21st, uh, 2012, in the Christ the Savior Cathedral, the culprits were very far from mutual respect and correctness. Uh, on top of that, uh, their action was actually in the language of insults uh, to Orthodox uh, believers. Um, Mr. Samutsevich testified, uh, victim Samutsevich testified uh, in court that he is the father of uh, e e Catherine Samutsevich. Uh, he does not know how she was acquainted with uh, the other two defendants. He has uh, uh, refused to answer further questions about, about his do daughter. He asked the detective uh, uh, after the uh, performance uh, and uh, found out that she entered uh, the cathedral wearing a white dress. She was was uh, uh, detained by the guards uh, uh, shortly before she reached she reached the, the altar and escorted outside the cathedral. He, he did not recognize any other perpetrators uh, in the cathedral. Um, he uh, also testified that they have good relations as father and daughter with Catherine, although they do have their arguments, um, which are a normal part of a generation um, 
relations. Uh, um, Catherine Samutsevich uh, uh, was baptized as a Christian and she did um, attend the church. Uh, he believes that the traditions uh, of um, uh, of vagantry uh, is acceptable in church, uh, as well as women in masks and open dresses uh, are similarly uh, acceptable in church. He, he, uh, he testified uh, that Catherine Samutsevich was uh, had not had uh, any uh, mental traumas or neur neurotic traumas in her life, and she was never uh, uh, supervised by any uh, n narcological uh, or uh, or mental uh, state um, establishments, institutions. Uh, she attended uh, an art school. Uh, tutored by the uh, students uh, of um, Mr. Oleg Kulik and uh, others who uh, identify themselves as uh, avant-garde artists. Uh, um, at this school, um, Catherine uh, got to, uh, acquainted with several individuals, uh, uh, including uh, defendants uh, Talokonikova and uh, Alyokhina. Uh, uh, shortly after that uh, encounter, his daughter um, somewhat changed uh, her manner of uh, um, communi communication with her father. She did not discuss uh, um, some, of, some of the political activities uh, and issues with the father. Um, he does know that Telekonnikov did um, uh, drag his daughter into the feminist uh, movement, uh, um, which he uh, condemns and, and, and uh, accuses. He believes that uh, the feminist movement uh, uh, does not match the Russian civilization. Um, other two or three girls also uh, came to uh, their home to visit together with Telekonnikov, but he, he cannot identify them. From police members, he found out that for hooliganism uh, in the metro station of airport, his daughter had been detained. Uh, together with uh, Telekonnikova and uh, an unidentified girl, they sang some song wearing balaclava hats. A protocol of an offense was uh, composed uh, later on, but he did not know what uh, uh, happened later on. After that, he banned Telekonnikova from visiting their home and uh, uh, has not seen her ever since until this trial. Uh, about all the all other actions uh, that uh, Telekonnikova and his daughter uh, performed uh, together with uh, other individuals, he found out from the internet. Uh, this includes uh, the uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral action. Following her acquaintance with Telekonnikova, uh, Catherine changed drastically. Sometimes it uh, looked to him that she was zombied, that she was um, a member of a totalitarian sect living in uh, a world of her own, uh, undertaking uh, irrational uh, actions uh, which uh, a sane person would have never undertaken. Uh, at the same time, he's sure that she never took drugs uh, nor drank alcohol, and that all the changes in her uh, psychological behavior were only the result of her acquaintance with uh, stronger personalities such as Telekonnikova. Uh, witness Samotsevich uh, proved part of his uh, testimony uh, given uh, at the preliminary investigation in court. Uh, Witness Samotsevich uh, uh, part of his uh, testimony uh, given uh, at that the preliminary uh, investigation the in court. Uh, staff, uh, of the Mr. Mrs. Bezhina is uh, one of the senior staff of the Institute of Journalism. Alekhina studied there. Uh, she says she is a decent person. She uh, was not aware of her religious views uh, and that uh, she does not uh, take drugs. Uh, she was part of environmental uh, projects. He never heard any slogans from her. Mrs. Bezhina knows her mother. And after the event uh, of the 21st of February, her parents uh, never complained uh, to her about uh, Mrs. Alekhina. And uh, the Institute provided uh, the uh, special, special Fidavit, uh, and she also writes verses. She cannot uh, do harm to anyone. She always
which helps people. She's conscious of her actions. Uh, she does not. Uh, uh, she controls her actions. Uh, there was also another witness, uh, a professor of the Institute of Photography. She studied uh, for two years uh, at that institute uh, for photography and multimedia. And uh, the professor said that some savage. Uh, Two years uh, was uh, a positive character. She was not. She was not aware of uh, her religious views. Is not an expert on feminism. Uh, witness Vinogradova, a positive character, she was not, she was not aware said that she studied together with Lechina. Uh, she said she's an open person, was very easy to get along with. Lechina was. Uh, a uh, high grader, she writes verses uh, and uh, visits uh, master classes. Uh, she's a blind woman, a vegetarian, uh, she's a member of the uh, environmental movement. Uh, and, uh, she uh, communicates well with minors, she's a good mother. Uh, and after her detention, she did not uh, communicate with uh, Lechina, but uh, according to her letters, Lechina remained the same. She's an active person, um, and after she controls her, own, controls her own actions. She was interested in politics, but uh, according to her letters, Lechina remained the same. According to the uh, investigators and uh, their records. They examined the place of the crime. They saw uh, seven video files uh, on a disk, and uh, they were recorded. Uh, with the surveillance cameras, video files. these video cameras uh, registered how a group of people entered uh, the cathedral and how they were forced out by Lechina including Alekhina and Talakonikova, and uh, he said that uh, all of these three girls were dressed unacceptably for the church. And uh, during the examination, they've uh, uh, taken away the balaclava mask, a dress, and uh, another balaclava mask without a label, uh, taken away the balaclava mask, a dress, and a sheet of paper with the words uh, saying, culture, we go to the prosecutor's office. We saw envelopes with uh, uh, envelopes with uh, documents issued for the name of Telekonnikova. And we also found a female dress, uh, a balaclava mask, and several other masks too, uh, without labels. Sheets of female dress, A4 paper with uh, some printed text on it. Several other masks too. And this piece of paper contained profane uh, lyrics. Uh, he had uh, a photocopy of um, Mr. Vasilov's passport and leaflet. The medical card issued in 2011. 
leaflets medical and uh, issues in 2011. Medical card which guaranteed uh, medical services uh, and also some uh, documents issued by Canada. A leaflet medical card which guaranteed uh, these uh, documents for a permanent residence issued by Canada for a Telekonikova, an A4 sheet of paper addressing uh, the head of the university where she started uh, asking for a paper uh, for academic uh, recess. Uh, the head of the university where she started uh, asking for a According to the records of his examination for academic uh, recess, uh, they, uh, Mr. Viz Mr. Vizilov uh, had uh, a, uh, a computer and were also a file with uh, some of the uh, materials uh, in Zilov, uh, which are insulted to God, there are also audio files, a lot of photographs which confirm that Sam Savage and Lechner Tolkonikova are part of the Pussy Riot group. Examination also included uh, some comments uh, to the uh, protest act, which uh, shows that uh, they have uh, negative views about religion, the authorities, and uh, they also found a file with uh, insulting materials. There are also a uh, file called the media, and you have uh, some of the uh, interviews, uh, a uh, file called the media, and uh, you have uh, some of the, uh, we see that uh, interviews. Uh, judging by the notes that were taken, the Pussy Riot Band members wanted to uh, confuse uh, the public uh, as to the actions that took place uh, at uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral. Investigators also found uh, audio files, uh, pictures, and text files, and which also confirm that uh, the three girls were part uh, of the Pussy Riot Band. They also found a DVD disc uh, with seven files copied over from a desktop, uh, from a laptop computer, taken from Mr. Vesilov with seven files copied over from a desktop and from a laptop computer taken from Mr. Vesilov some other materials the files, video files, uh, feature a rehearsal of their actions in a basement. So the uh, rehearsal was uh, featured Telakonikov, uh, and Samsevich. So they discuss the protest act. She says that uh, the balaclava mask should be donned uh, in the last minute because they agreed with, uh, with those who will take a video uh, recording uh, that they will not upload uh, the video on themselves. So these uh, files uh, contain the videos showing a rehearsal of the punk prayer. So 
There were six girls, Leuchner, Telekonikovs, Matsevich were among them, and there is also a girl, Telekonikovs, a daughter among them. The next file features uh, busy ride groups, again a rehearsal, and they were later part uh, of uh, the video clip later, which was later made and called the punk prayer. These uh, rehearsals features uh, six ladies, which also includes Delaconico's young, young daughter. The next file features the protest actor in uh, the cathedral. The next file, the next file again features the protest act at the cathedral, and the three girls were among those present there. Again, features the protest act. Then uh, the next files uh, also feature the same protest act, including then, uh, these three girls. And we see five girls, and uh, Alekhina, Talakonikov, and Samutsevich are among them. And uh, there are a lot of repetitions, they are recorded uh, from different angles by different people. According to the examination by experts, a linguistic examination, the actions of Pussy Riot band individually or together uh, on the 21st of February and represented on this video. Together, could be regarded as premeditated gross violation of public order in special places designated for uh, religious services, uh, showing disrespect for a social group of uh, the social group of believers, orthodox believers. They set themselves against uh, the orthodox believers, showing disrespect, sheer disrespect for them. The actions which took place on the 21st of February and represented on the video could be regarded as a gross violation motivated by hatred and enmity against the social group of orthodox believers. The actions of the Pussy Riot group in Christ the Saving Cathedral could be called a conspiracy, conspiracy and the Material evidence, the laptop, prove that they took part in it, and they are the girls that were there. Material evidence, the drive that was found there, computer drive, also serves as a proof for the actions that they took. The laptop contains the files which confirms their participation in the protest act. The, prote the laptop contains the files uh, which confirm the participation of Ms. Alokhina. The gown, a yellow gown and balaclava mask and a dress uh, which were found there also serve as a proof of their participation. The sheets of paper uh, with profane words uh, also serve as a proof of their profane lyrics. Uh, with profane words uh, calling for retaliation against uh, the cops. Uh, profane lyrics.
A website was examined that was in text of the interview. It was uh, the text of the interview to the Russian reporter magazine. A website, they say, that they, in it they criticized the aspiration of the church to become a dominant uh, they say that uh, there are religious people among us and we are disgusted by these uh, ambitions of the church and the patriarch. Some people were disgusted by our uh, performance, but we believe it's not the cathedral. Uh, it's, uh, a travesty of the cathedral. It's not the place for, for a uh, religious services. It's a, a business center. You've got a laundry and a special uh, parking lot. Uh, and the lyrics of the song and the punk prayer. You see that uh, all the parishioners uh, creep uh, to use. Uh, creep on their knees and toes to the cathedral, holy shit, holy shit, uh, Mother Virgin Mary, become a feminist, your priest uh, will come to your school, so go there and bring some money to him, Mr. Gunjaev, the patriarch, will support uh, Mr. Putin, your priest, uh, Virgin Mary is with us. And in their interview, they also said that we are against the patriarchal family, uh, against uh, the traditional uh, uh, family rule where women are uh, against the patriarchal family. Family. only uh, designated to cook, to raise children. Uh, We're against that. Family. And there are also yeah. pictures taken at the cathedral. One of the church officials uh, confirms that uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral is the main cathedral of the Russian Orthodox Church, which is often visited by uh, senior top officials of Russia. It's also the monument to those who died in the World War, in World War II. And, uh, such actions as uh, the singing of songs and dancing uh, is a desecration, especially if it's taking place in an area which is closed off to women. Such uh, dances in a monument uh, is the same as dancing on a monument uh, to the unknown soldier. And according to the uh, notice, of the sacristan, the rules are as follows. You cannot uh, use cell phones or laptops. You cannot record video or audio. Sacristan cannot uh, hold any excursions uh, if you're not of this staff, member of this staff. Women in uh, miniskirts are not allowed. You can not run there, it's forbidden. The foundation of the Christ the Savior Cathedral filed a complaint which says that at 11.20, Parishioners and members of the staff which were present at that time in the cathedral became witnesses to extremist and hooliganist actions of some women which shouted uh, insolent and uh, insulting words and as uh, witnesses, witnesses report at uh, 11 
1909, five women entered uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral. When they got seen, they took off their clothes. Uh, they uh, donned balaclava masks, bright ones. And they moved through the gates to the Ambon, which is a closed off area to women. One of the girls had a guitar, the rest imitated uh, performance, they started jerking their heads, and, uh, hands, um, shouting, blasphemous words, shouting words. The women were forced out of the building thanks uh, to the bodyguards, uh, since thanks to the security guards and the staff. Such actions uh, are utter disrespect for the religious feelings of believers. They clearly aimed to incite hatred or enmity against a social group of believers. This was a carefully planned action and uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral is uh, a place of pilgrimage for millions of Orthodox believers. It's a place for services and ceremonies uh, and uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral is uh, a place of pilgrimage for millions. We have uh, received uh, pictures uh, featuring uh, Dolokonikova, Alokhina, and Samutsevich uh, checking their hands, uh, hopping, and also some articles about the events so that was attached to the complaint of the foundation of the Christ the Savior Cathedral. And according to Islam, the rules of Islam, uh, that's another complaint, that uh, all uh, clerical religious buildings are not, uh, cannot tolerate, tolerate such behavior, and uh, Muslims consider that a sin, and that uh, speaks volumes about the degradation of moral values, which should send a signal to all the uh, key institutions of the state. According to the letter uh, from the official of the Christ the Savior Cathedral, hooliganist actions were according to the letter committed uh, by uh, five men, five women who entered uh, the cathedral and uh, who entered uh, the sacred place of Sully and Ambon, uh, closed off to the visitors and only used on Orthodox cathedrals for sacred formal ceremonies and services. That's a place uh, where scripture is read and no one else apart from priests are allowed to enter this area. The rules of uh, conduct uh, in uh, churches have been uh, established by tradition. And uh, communicated to visitors through special notices and warnings. Traditions are necessary, and 
for the normal functioning of the church building. You cannot wear dresses that are tempting. It's forbidden to do video and photo re recording. Uh, cannot wear without special permission. It's forbidden to do video Layman and parishioners should, without special permission, comply with the rules of conduct. Layman and parishioners should. Mr. Vazilov is a, a citizen of Canada, according to a photocopy of his passport. And Mrs. Talakonikova, born in 1989, received a medical card uh, which uh, ensures uh, medical services in Ontario, Canada. According to the leaflet, ensures the medical services Telekonikova in Ontario, Canada. As a plastic card for which confirms uh, the right for a permanent residence in Canada. During the assessment um, of the materials, the court concludes the defendants uh, doubt uh, the proof that was collected, the evidence that was collected. The lawyer's uh, defense believes that, was collected, that uh, there were violations of uh, legislation during the identification procedure. The defense believes that uh, there was a special check conducted uh, over that claim during the identification procedure. Identification is a part of the procedure of the investigation to uh, make sure the uh, defendants are the, the uh, perpetrators uh, uh, identified by witnesses. Of the investigation to uh, make sure the, uh, the identification is pre preceded by a preliminary questioning, uh, interrogation of uh, the victim who is supposed to identify uh, the perpetrators. Uh, this is done in order to uh, make sure the victim uh, uh, still remembers the face of uh, the culp uh, of the perpetrator and is uh, capable of uh, um, recognizing that person. Sometimes uh, a number of features uh, can also come up uh, during uh, the identification procedure that uh, have been uh, forgotten uh, and therefore uh, left out uh, during um, questioning. And the investigators uh, uh, need to make sure that uh, the um, uh, witness identifying the perpetrators uh, uh, is uh, clear about uh, his or her own uh, story uh, of uh, the events. Make sure that uh, the, um, uh, during the preliminary, preliminary investigation, uh, is, uh, in this case, a complex story, uh, psychological and linguistical expertise was also undertaken as part of the investigation. On April 2nd this year, there was also a complex uh, psychological expertise on May 14th this year. They cannot be put uh, into the basis of the verdict because uh, they were performed uh, with violations of the legal procedure since they are viewed uh, through the prism of the disposition in accordance uh, with uh, the article of the Russian Criminal Code, uh, such as uh, uh, fueling religious hatred and enmity, as well as uh, uh, degrading uh, human dignity. 
Besides, uh, this request does not uh, uh, is not in, in line with uh, the uh, procedure code uh, because it lacks uh, the necessary reference to the basis uh, of uh, this uh, of the research. Uh, besides, the experts uh, have gone outside uh, their scope uh, in performing uh, those uh, uh, expertise. Um, no. Uh, linguistic uh, and psychological analysis uh, uh, of the text uh, uh, of the text of the song uh, sang in the cathedral has been um, performed. Uh, the experts have not uh, given uh, their assessment of the texts um, uh, of uh, uh, the chants of the girls in the cathedral either. Uh, a research of uh, the lyrics of the song is being uh, uh, examined right now. And uh, experts uh, and observers uh, um, have uh, given uh, conclusions uh, uh, in their expertise uh, uh, which are contrary to what the witnesses have testified, which shows, uh, which points to the fact that these uh, um, uh, with, uh, experts themselves uh, uh, have personal feelings against uh, the uh, against the defendants. The court uh, has uh, come to a conclusion that the guilt uh, of uh, the defendants has been proved. Uh, identification by victims Sokologorska, Istomin, Belaglazova, Vinogradov, and Potankin of the defendants Tolokonnikova, uh, Samotsevich, uh, and Alyokhina has been performed in accordance with the procedure regulations and is accepted by court as evidence. Uh, the victims uh, have testified in court uh, continuously. Uh, maintaining that they uh, had uh, remembered uh, the perpetrators uh, very well uh, during their performance in the, the cathedral and uh, were capable of uh, recognizing and identifying them. They also described their opinions uh, in much detail and quite accurately. Uh, including the color and length of their hair, uh, their supposed age, the color of their eyes, the shades of their skin, and uh, the style of their hair. Including the color and length of their hair, their supposed age, the color of their eyes, the shades of their skin, and the style of their hair. All of the uh, girls uh, were identified as aged between 20 and 24. Uh, their heights are uh, ranging from uh, 165 centimeters to 165 centimeters. Their heights are ranging from 165 centimeters to 165 centimeters. You're listening uh, to the decision of the court uh, being read out. Uh, Judge uh, Maria Sarova found uh, the three members of the punk band Pussy Riot guilty of hooliganism motivated by religious hatred and enmity. The judge said they showed flagrant disregard for the church parishioners and the fundamentals of the Orthodox faith. Um, being presented with uh, the uh, defendants uh, during the uh, identification procedure, the victims uh, recognized all three and uh, stated uh, with uh, um, confidence that, that these were the perpetrators uh, of the performance in the Christ the Savior Cathedral. The, the actions uh, could be taken uh, against a specific individual as well as uh, an uh, unspecified uh, uh, community or group of people. Uh, the uh, offense uh, was uh, uh, performed by way of an action uh, driven by the, uh, uh, the will of um, a culprit to show their disrespect for uh, uh, the others. It was uh, uh, identified uh, that on February 21st, uh, 2012, uh, uh, Tolokonnikova, Samotsevich, and Alyokhina uh, unlawfully uh, entered uh, a sealed part of the Christ the Savior Cathedral reserved for religious ceremonies, uh, placed themselves uh, on, uh, uh, in front of uh, the um, altar, which is reserved uh, specifically for clergy members. 
placed themselves uh, on uh, in front occupied of the catheter the, uh, 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 reserved for uh, reading prayers and uh, 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 and other uh, religious texts uh, and started uh, dancing and, and uh, uh, yelling chants which were insulting for religious believers as they danced, uh, they uh, swung their, their uh, hands and uh, imitated uh, punching uh, uh, unseen enemies. Therefore, the place of uh, uh, an offense against public order was uh, the Christ the Savior Cathedral. Uh, keeping public order in uh, such a place also includes uh, uh, observing the rules of conduct in that, uh, in that, in that religi religious facility. Um, active hooliganism uh, can be uh, understood uh, as uh, uh, acts driven by either motivation of uh, hatred uh, or uh, degradation of any uh, sp specific of any given uh, social or, or national or religious group. Therefore, uh, hooliganism can be. Uh, may, uh, the, the charges of hooliganism can be sustained uh, when uh, a defendant uh, has uh, uh, expressed uh, open disrespect uh, and uh, uh, defiance uh, against um, the commonly accepted norms uh, and the tastes of uh, others. Expressed the uh, argument of the defense uh, that. Uh, uh, the Christ the Savior Cathedral cannot be seen as a religious premises since it has never actually been transferred to the church and that it is rather a, a, a public place, that it is rather an imitation of a religious facility, the court finds this argument uh, unfounded. The Christ the Savior Cathedral uh, has uh, exactly the uh, exterior and interior of a classical Orthodox uh, cathedral with uh, crosses, uh, golden domes, uh, icons, uh, and so on. The walls are covered with frescoes and, and icons in accordance with Orthodox traditions. The Orthodox Church uh, recognizes this place as a cathedral and performs its religious ceremonies uh, and rituals uh, in accordance with, it, with its own rules and traditions. Uh, uh, it, indeed, the premises of the cathedral is owned by the government of Moscow. Um, the ceremonies and the operation uh, and the operations uh, in the cathedral uh, are performed by the cathedral itself. Uh, um, the, and uh, the, the building has been leased uh, indefinitely uh, to the Russian Orthodox Church. Um, in addition, shortly after construction, the uh, cathedral was uh, sacrificed, was, was uh, sacramentized, which means it is a sacred place for religious believers. Apart from premises for religious uh, uh, ceremonies, there are also other facilities uh, inside the Christ the Savior Cathedral, including a conference room and even a parking uh, lot. But this does not diminish the meaning of the cathedral as a religious establishment, as a re religious facility. It is also significant that the defendants uh, were going uh, to, to perform um, a, uh, uh, their performance in the cathedral, uh, taking it as a cathedral cathedral, which they did not deny. The, suit, uh, the uh, court also cannot agree with the arguments of defense uh, uh, that uh, the defendants are being accused uh, in accordance with uh, clerical uh, rules rather than um, secular laws of the Russian Federation. On the contrary, the court is driven by the laws of the Russian Federation, uh, which are in effect uh, all over Russia, including the territories of uh, church um, uh, facilities, cathedrals, and so on. Church terminology, clerical terminology, was only used uh, uh, in as much as it was useful to identify whether there was a religious motive, uh, a religious hatred motive in the actions of the defendants. The rights to uh, practice religion uh, in church is guaranteed by the Constitution of the Russian Federation and protected by the Russian law, including the criminal code. The rights to uh, the religion uh, in church investigation by the has the not um, by the found out uh, who um, uh, who actually created the video uh, of the performance which was posted on the internet but this is not um, 
relevant because uh, the defendants are not being accused of uh, creating that video and posting it on the internet. The court uh, only uh, ex is only examining the case against the, the defendants based on the, the actual charges pressed against them. The court is uh, not authorized uh, to examine uh, issues that are not related to the charges pressed against uh, the defendants. Uh, the court can also cannot also agree with uh, defense uh, who maintains that there was no motive of religious hatred in the actions uh, uh, of the defendants. The court does find uh, uh, a religious hatred motive in the actions of the defendants uh, um, by way of them being feminists uh, who uh, consider uh, men and women to be equal. Now, equality, gender equality is... Uh, uh, asserted is maintained by the Russian Constitution, where all people are proclaimed equal, uh, irrespectful of their gender, race, nationality, political affiliation, and so on. Any form of limiting the legal rights uh, of citizens uh, uh, based on their gender, race, and so on are, are banned by the Russian Constitution. Men and women have uh, uh, equal opportunities in Russia. Uh, people who consider themselves feminists uh, uh, presently uh, struggle for uh, F f f for uh, the actual equality and empowerment of women. Um, these activities are not considered criminal in accordance with the Russian uh, law. Uh, at the same time, uh, um, Orthodox Christianity, Catholic, ca Catholic Christianity, and a number of other de denominations uh, uh, do not agree with, with feminism, and uh, their, their, their own values are not in line with feminism. Catholic Christianity and a number of other denominations. Uh, in a modern society, relations between va various nations and nationalities, as well as between different uh, um, religious de denominations, must be based uh, on uh, um, uh, mutual respect and equality. Uh, an idea that, that uh, um, one political movement can be superior to others uh, gives a uh, route to uh, perspective uh, hatred between uh, various uh, uh, opinions. Uh, you could also see uh, the uh, relation of the defendants toward certain uh, religious uh, um, assertions uh, by the way they behaved uh, during uh, um, uh, the court uh, hearings, uh, by the way they mimicked uh, at listening to some of the testimonies of, of the victims. Therefore, we believe that uh, this uh, action uh, should have the same legal consequences uh, if it had been uh, uh, the, the, the defense has also maintained uh, that uh, the um, performance of, of the defendants uh, must be persecuted uh, or treated uh, in the same way as their performances in other places uh, in Moscow, such as uh, their, their performance in, the, in a metro station, in accordance with the, the testimonies by victims and witnesses uh, in Christ uh, Cathedral. Um, uh, we can maintain that uh, the, their action was uh, a sudden appearance an emergence uh, in a cathedral in uh, bright dresses, short dresses, uh, and uh, colorful balaclavas with uh, dancing, jerking, and, and waving their arms and legs. Uh, and now, this is conduct which is uh, inconsistent with the rules of the Christian church, irregardless of whether it is being uh, uh, perpetrated uh, in a, a cathedral or uh, outside. With the, rules of the, the, the so called performance of the Pussy Riot right Band uh, perpetrated uh, outside uh, uh, religious outside. facilities. so-called performance of the right band is not associated with a specific uh, facility or object and therefore are examined uh, merely as uh, an offense against moral norms, whereas uh, a performance uh, uh, carried out in a cathedral uh, actually touches upon a whole um, complex of uh, relations between various peoples as well as uh, the morals uh, and the customs and traditions uh, of uh, people. 
and, and uh, their protection in various spheres of life, violations of domestic uh, 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 rules and policies of the cathedral was only one of the ways uh, of expressing disrespect uh, toward uh, the society and religious hatred uh, um, and hatred toward a social group by the defendants. The court finds that the action by the defendants has indeed degraded and insulted a large part of uh, citizens, uh, in this case uh, religious um, citizens, and uh, fueled uh, hatred and uh, um, hostility from them, and therefore was in violation of the Russian Constitution. Similarly, the activities uh, taken to the end of fueling religious, uh, social, and other hatred uh, um, is uh, supported by uh, the following circumstances. This so-called punk prayer was uh, carried out in a public place, uh, namely the cathedral. Uh, the three defendants and the unidentified un un individuals had known about uh, uh, the negative uh, uh, reaction their, their performance was likely to stir. Uh, because the um, deliberately uh, prepared colorful and uh, um, inappropriate dresses and balaclavas uh, uh, for that performance. This was done publicly by a group of people uh, on a um, conspiracy. Uh, for that performance, mm. which means that people who had conspired in advance to perform an, a, a crime. People, uh, on a, um, uh, the which means that people who had conspired in um, advance we, we see a conspiracy uh, driven by motives of uh, religious uh, uh, hatred and uh, hatred, hatred against a certain social group. The court does not we trust the testimony by uh, the defendants uh, claiming that they were not driven by religious hatred and did not conspire. Uh, we believe that, that uh, their testimony is driven by their desire to evade justice, to escape justice. Uh, their testimonies have also been proved false by the testimonies of uh, uh, the victims and witnesses uh, of the events in the cathedral. Uh, we have no reason to mistrust the testimony, uh, the, the testimonies of uh, the victims and witnesses. Uh, based on the testimonies of the victims, uh, such as Vinogradov, uh, Belaglazova, Anosova, Milag, uh, uh, Patankin, Shirin, and others. We, uh, we can see that the, victims, uh, the, provocative, uh, that the action was actually provocative from the very start because there were parish members in the cathedral at the moment, including foreign guests who were actually taking the performance on film. The actions by the defendants and their unidentified accomplices uh, openly and explicitly expressed religious hatred, which was uh, embodied by their conduct, which was uh, contrary to the simple rules of conduct in a religious uh, uh, place of worship. Um, their actions has uh, degraded uh, the um, moral feelings uh, and the moral orientation of the victims. Uh, their yells and chants were taken uh, unambiguously by the victims uh, as a, a manifestation of their religious hatred. Their action was also coordinated and uh, pre-planned uh, as according to the victims. They were openly displaying disrespect for the society, which did not only include uh, uh, Orthodox Christians, but everybody who was in the cathedral at the moment. Um, footage from um, surveillance cameras placed in the cathedral prove the testimony of the victims and, and the witnesses, including the performance itself and the extraction, uh, the escorting of the defendants outside the cathedral. In the process, the three defendants uh, and their accomplices were dressed inappropriately. The court is critical to the testimonies uh, uh, of, uh, witness, uh, of witness Pugarev um, in court because uh, the witness uh, the witness Ugrik was not uh, an actual witness of the performance in the cathedral itself. He found out most of the information from the media. 
the coordination of the actions of the defendants and the unidentified uh, individuals is proof of the fact that there was crime undertaken by a group of individuals by a, prelim by, uh, a provisional um, collaboration and uh, conspiracy. Uh, that means a group of individuals, including the three defendants, had known there would be um, uh, an action, a performance uh, carried out in the cathedral at the given date, uh, a group of individuals uh, summoned uh, in a specific place at a specific uh, date and time. They prepared uh, uh, their balaclavas and dresses and uh, the guitar uh, uh, as well as loudspeakers and lamps. Um, the testimonies of the victims and, and uh, witnesses uh, uh, do not contradict one another. They're um, integral. There was also a rehearsal uh, to the performance uh, in the Yelokovsky Cathedral prior to the action undertaken in the Christ the Savior Cathedral, which is proved by the testimonies by uh, victims uh, uh, Yashvili and uh, Shukova. There was also another rehearsal which in uh, an operational uh, facility. And, uh, and, and a laptop uh, was um, uh, found uh, during a, s uh, a home search uh, of uh, um, Nadezhda Talakonikova's uh, uh, apartment, uh, which contained uh, uh, footage of that rehearsal uh, undertaken in the Yelohovsky Cathedral. There was also uh, a file from uh, MTS, which uh, also is footage uh, of uh, a rehearsal of um, uh, uh, this performance uh, carried out by five there girls. Also, uh, there was also footage of Miss Telekonikova discussing which, uh, the performance uh, and her suggesting to put on the balaclavas uh, 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 only right before the very performance in the cathedral. Uh, the footage shows six girls, including uh, the three defendants, uh, and who were performing the some of the uh, uh, some of the, the performance, right part of the performance uh, that later uh, entered uh, the, the video posted the on, on the internet. The three defendants who were performing some of the some of the performance, part of the performance that later other uh, files with video footage uh, show uh, members of the group, including the three, three defendants, uh, performing their hooligan. Uh, action in the Christ the Savior Cathedral. Other, uh, files with video, video files video containing show, uh, footage of the events that took place on February 21st uh, in general supplement and repeat uh, one another. They the were Christ filmed the by Cathedral. various people from various angles, which means that there was collaboration among the people who were filming, the unidentified individuals who were filming the event and the perpetrators, including the three defendants. Uh, their um, actions were pre-coordinated and uh, uh, lay, uh, and there, there was um, um, an add-on later on. During uh, home searches, uh, Balaclava heads and uh, dresses were found in the homes of the defendants, uh, which were collected as uh, material evidence. Uh, the court does find that uh, the three defendants uh, did undertake uh, an act of hooliganism, uh, which uh, manifested disrespect uh, f uh, for the society and driven by religious hatred and uh, uh, hatred for a social group, undertaken by a group of individuals uh, 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 in a conspiracy. Taking into consideration the choice of uh, uh, place, the, the, the choice of venue for that performance, the choice of time, and the explicit uh, disrespect for the society that was manifested in that action. The court has come to a conclusion that there are all the uh, features, all the distinctive features of such uh, a crime, such an, such an, of an offense. Uh, against the three defenses and that these charges uh, were actually based and were proved in court. The actions of Ms. Telokonikova Samutsevich and Alyokina were an evident violation of the general rules of behavior and good manners. Um, the defendants violated the common rules of behavior in the Christ Cathedral of behavior and good manners. Public use um, as, uh, of uh, uh, crude language the cannot be uh, examined otherwise as uh, a violation of public rules. 
public use of rules of public, pu public behavior. There was also disrespect toward the people who were present uh, at the House of Prayer. There was uh, an uh, unauthorized uh, entry into the cathedral and its inner premises, uh, which was uh, also followed by their uh, resistance uh, uh, against the attempts to uh, extract them from the cathedral by the security guards and uh, volunteers from the parish. Was, uh, Further distribution of uh, video footage uh, uh, over the internet was proof of the fact that the perpetrators were trying to attract pub public attention to their hooligan action. Further distribution of video footage uh, and uh, circulated not only to the people who were, who were physically present uh, in the, ca the cathedral at the moment, but also other people um, who also share, who might also share Christian, Orthodox Christian beliefs. The three defendants uh, and their unidentified uh, accomplices have uh, uh, deliberately and uh, explicitly placed themselves uh, against uh, uh, the Orthodox believers uh, uh, and uh, pictured themselves uh, in a light that degrades uh, the um, personal beliefs uh, and religious beliefs of uh, um, uh, religious people. They have openly uh, expressed uh, their religious hatred toward uh, uh, Christianity, inflicted uh, against its traditions and its identity. The proof of that they have openly uh, expressed uh, their religious hatred toward uh, uh, was Christianity. Their explicitly vulgar and provocative actions, uh, uh, such as dancing and uh, uh, jerking their, the, 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 their limbs in the cathedral which was uh, openly disrespectful and uh, insulting to Orthodox believers. It was a deliberate action undertaken in a part of uh, a cathedral where it was uh, expected to and indeed uh, uh, did affect uh, um, uh, at, at the worst uh, the religious feelings uh, of believers, uh, including numerous uh, um, chanting of uh, uh, blasphemous and uh, uh, insulting and, and degrading uh, chants against uh, Mother Mary and uh, uh, God. Uh, the defendants uh, have uh, pled uh, uh, that um, uh, evidence uh, had been uh, forged, uh, had been faked uh, during the investigation. The court has not sustained uh, uh, their claim based on the fact that during preliminary investigation uh, the uh, court has uh, identified all the uh, relevant uh, uh, circumstances. Defense of uh, uh, Ms. Tolokonikova Alyokhina and Samotevich did plea to find a number of evidence uh, unacceptable, uh, including the psychological and linguistical uh, expertise uh, performed on May 23rd this year. The court studied uh, the arguments of defense in favor of this claim, and the uh, court uh, revokes uh, uh, this, uh, overrules this, this uh, plea, this claim. The arguments of defense in favor of this claim and uh, court uh, revokes. Uh, uh, it is impossible uh, to, f to find uh, this, uh, um, uh, the claim. expertise unlawful since the experts had not been warned about their legal responsibility under the Criminal Code of Russia. It is impossible to, f to find uh, um, uh, the expertise unlawful since the experts had not been warned about their legal responsibility. Uh, during their expert assessment, uh, an expert uh, gives uh, their assessment uh, independently based on uh, research uh, carried out uh, in accordance with their specific education background. The court uh, finds uh, the uh, assessment of uh, the, the experts uh, fully uh, legitimate uh, um, and uh, uh, founded. In and uh, agrees with uh, that assessment. The court believes it is possible uh, if uh, the findings of the experts uh, do, uh, um, uh, do not contradict uh, themselves uh, and do enable the court to get uh, uh, a more or less clear picture of the circumstances of uh, the uh, offense. And that is the case in, in, in our case. Do not contradict themselves and do enable the court to get 
it uh, a more or less clear picture. The court sees no violations of the Russian law in carrying out, uh, in, in appointing, in carrying out this uh, linguistic and psychological expertise. Uh, the expert had been um, warned about their uh, legal responsibility for producing uh, a fake uh, uh, expertise. They, they, they are also fully legitimate as regards their education background and uh, uh, academic credentials. Um, the court has also taken into consideration uh, testimonies by the victims and witnesses who, who claim there were no political slogans chanted in the cathedral during the performance. Court has also taken Based on the examining uh, the evidence uh, and the testimonies, uh, the court finds that the actions uh, of the defendants uh, on February 21st this year uh, were deliberate, which is uh, pointed to by, uh, by the following facts in, in particular, their choice of timing and venue, the uh, duration of their uh, performance, uh, which kept on despite uh, attempts to uh, extract them from the cathedral, and the girls resisting to be escorted outside. The and the uh, following uh, and, and the conduct of the defendants and their accomplices later on. The court does not consider uh, the expertise to be an uh, unacceptable um, evidence. The defense asks uh, to uh, bring in uh, the experts uh, for questioning, but they did not uh, provide uh, any document uh, which proves their competence and qualifications, and uh, their, uh, their uh, complaint uh, was uh, rejected, since uh, an expert is a person with special uh, expertise uh, who take who is used uh, in uh, the uh, court proceedings uh, with the help of uh, technical uh, devices uh, who will also then uh, explain to the court uh, how he um, conducted that examination. Uh, there was also a review of the examination, and the court uh, deems uh, that uh, only court could uh, review uh, the, uh, all the circumstances uh, and the evidence. Uh, no external audition uh, could take place. No external auditor could uh, take part in it. Again, we are listening to the uh, judge uh, reading out its uh, her, her verdict uh, on the Pussy Riot case, uh, and uh, she's reaching the final stage uh, where she will be announcing uh, the actual sentence. Uh, the uh, three members uh, of the Pussy Riot band uh, have been found guilty of hooliganism for their protest act uh, in the in Christ the Savior Cathedral in Moscow on the 21st of February. The judge uh, has read out uh, the gist of uh, the uh, victims and uh, uh, victim's evidence uh, and uh, the testimonies of witnesses told us uh, about uh, the examination and so the fact that uh, the court rejected uh, the complaint or, uh, and uh, uh, complaint of, about a new uh, linguistic and uh, psychological examination. And, uh, uh, 
So we continue listening to the uh, decision delivered by Judge Marina Sirova on the Pussy Riot case. So we continue listening to the uh, the legal actions uh, of the uh, defendants uh, were uh, included uh, actions uh, by the mass media and the court concludes that uh, their actions were aimed to disrupt public order motivated by hatred uh, and enmity towards a specific uh, social group uh, in this uh, uh, respect, it's a religious group. Uh, the three defendants claim this was not their motive, but the court uh, does not accept that uh, claim uh, because it's uh, disproved by uh, the evidence that has been collected uh, during the court hearings. Despite the fact that the members of the Pussy Riot Band say that their motives were exclusively political, saying they're positive about uh, Orthodox religion and uh, they were protesting against uh, close ties between uh, uh, the church and the state. Uh, this is again uh, um, proved by uh, the fact, by the uh, texts uh, uh, that were found, uh, uh, materials that were found uh, during the search uh, on, in their apartments. The victims, uh, according to victims, uh, there was no uh, political statements made and no political na no politicians' names were uh, announced. This is why the court believes that the court uh, qualifies their actions according to Part 2 of Article 213 since uh, it's hooliganism, a gross violation and uh, disrespect uh, for public order uh, motivated by hatred and enmity towards a specific group and according to the disrespect the decision of the psychiatric examination Talkonikova has uh, a disorder a mental disorder and that's uh, expressed uh, in her active uh, position, uh, her uh, ambitions uh, expressed uh, in her active uh, high level of ambitions and uh, overconfidence ambitions. Uh, and during the, the, that period uh, of time, did not suffer from dementia, from any other serious uh, mental disorder. That period uh, of time, and her characteristics, uh, psychological characteristics, uh, are not expressed in grave cognitive uh, disorders or any psychotic so symptoms. This is why she was sane and aware of the consequences of her actions at the time of the uh, crime. This is why she was sane and aware of the consequences to another examination. Sam Savage also has uh, a minor disorder. Uh, stubbornness uh, and uh, high sensitivity. Stubbornness uh, and uh, her inclination to express uh, her opinion uh, in an opposition way, in a confrontational way, 
в предвосхищении последствий принимаемых решений в национальной значимости факторов и are not followed by uh, any cognitive uh, disorders or symptoms. So her abilities uh, were not uh, damaged uh, and it uh, means that she could control her actions. So no medical treatment is necessary. As to Mrs. Lerhina, she does not suffer from any mental illness, but is uh, emotionally unstable. As to Mrs. Lerhina, that's according to the examination of her psychological characteristics. She's overconfident, has too many claims, and is easily manipulated, blackmailed. She doesn't have a clear life stereotypes, again emotionally unstable and effective in her actions, while key memory and cognitive functions are operate, operate normally. At the time of the supposed crime, she did not suffer from any mental illness and was fully aware of the consequences of the actions that she could control. And at the present moment, she does not suffer from any mental illness either. So no compulsive medical treatment is necessary. And taking account of the medical examinations, they are considered sane and in connection with this, they should be punished in accordance with Article 60 of the Criminal Code of the Russian Federation. They should be the court uh, takes into account uh, aggravating, attenuating circumstances of uh, their life circumstances. Telekonikova has, has not been convicted earlier. So was not registered in a drug rehabilitation center as a young child and has uh, positive affidavits and uh, given all of the circumstances that the, these are attenuating circumstances. As to Samitsevich, uh, she did uh, have, uh, she did uh, commit administrative offences, but is also characterised positively, and uh, that, uh, that means uh, that she's uh, committed a criminal offence for the first time, and that's an attenuating circumstance. Alerhina, is also is not registered at a drug rehabilitation centre, has a child, but uh, is characterised positively by her colleagues, and uh, again, this is viewed as an attenuated circumstance. Again, the court also takes into account uh, the opinion of the victims, as they uh, did not insist on growing on uh, serious sentences, and there is no aggravating circumstances that were established by court. So, the court concludes that it's not a 
possible to change uh, the charges, make them less grave. There are no exclusive circumstances to do that. Possible to change uh, the charges, make them less grave. There is no exclusive At the same time, that the, given the circumstances, the motives of the crime and the attitude, the court deems that to restore social justice and to prevent further crimes could be only uh, done if they serve a real jail sentence. Social justice and according to point B of, article, of one of the articles of the Russian Federation, they will serve their jail sentence to point B in prison of one of the articles of the Russian Federation. Uh, the victims did not uh, lay any additional claims, and according to the procedural code of the Russian Federation, the court uh, the victims did not deems that Telekonikova is found guilty. And given two years, a two-year jail sentence, Samutsevich is found guilty of the crime pursuant to Part Two of Article Two, two One Three, and is uh, and is given a two-year jail sentence. Alokhina is found guilty of a criminal offence pursuant to. Part 2 of Article 213 and is given a two year jail sentence. And uh, they should still be detained and given a two year jail sentence. And uh, their jail sentence should begin from the day of their arrest. It was on March the 15th. And that uh, is valid for, the, for all of the three members. On March the 15th. The verdict could be appealed within 10 days since it was pronounced. All of the three verdict could be appealed within 10 days. Someone's sh shouting, shame, shame. Someone's sh shouting, shame, shame. So we heard uh, the decision of uh, Judge uh, Marina Sirova who found the three members of the Pussy Riot Band guilty so and uh, the, uh, convicted them to uh, two years in jail. So no suspended the sentence. They will serve the real band sentence uh, and, uh, in jail. The reading of the verdict lasted uh, about three hours. Uh, we heard uh, all of the details of the case, including the testimonies uh, of uh, the witnesses, uh, testimonies of the victims, uh, the attitudes and the opinion of uh, the defendants, witnesses, uh, testimonies of the victims, uh, Attitudes and the opinion of uh, the defendants, witnesses, testimonies of the victims, attitudes and the opinion of uh, the defendants. And we'll be now expecting uh, a response uh, both uh, from the media, from the public, uh, and International will be now expecting as well. Uh, as we've heard earlier, uh, 
protests uh, from numerous protests were scheduled on this day. And uh, RT will bring you up to date with what's happening. Numerous protests were scheduled on this day. Now you see the girls are laughing. They are in high spirits. Obviously not upset and uh, most probably they were prepared uh, for the verdict. They are in high spirits. Again, I would like to remind our viewers that uh, prosecution initially asked for three years. Um, the court uh, said that there were attenuating circumstances, Again, like that was uh, that, uh, the fact that uh, the crime was committed for the first time, said that, that two of them had children, and all of them had positive that, characteristics uh, from fellow colleagues uh, and uh, from uh, for the first uh, time fellow residents. But the lawyers look very upset, frustrated, as we saw, they followed, uh, they were following uh, the uh, uh, response uh, to the verdict uh, via uh, Twitter their iPads and other mobile devices. A response to the verdict uh, via uh, Twitter. And here's the girl reaction. Defiant. Here's the girl reaction. They're handcuffed now. Defiant. And ready to be escorted out of the building. Their supporters uh, calm them down, say words of uh, support, uh, try to comfort the, the girls. Journalists uh, and those uh, who were present in the room are leaving the courtroom. And obviously, the girls will be escorted out of the hall right after that. Continue watching RT for uh, further updates bringing you up to date uh, with what's happening next, whether the lawyers will file an appeal and whether the next court uh, will decide uh, differently. you up to date what's happening next, whether the lawyers will file an appeal
третий выпуск, который мы им раздали, это на нет, вон секретарь.
mechanism that is utterly sick. So she says that education uh, rules uh, follow Soviet standards, uh, which are outdated, and modern institutions uh, preach uh, one, one doctrine. Uh, she says that uh, prison is uh, Russian in miniature, and she was uh, sincere in her uh, statement that she regretted her act. And uh, now the third girl says that uh, after the uh, presidential camp race started, uh, they uh, got together. There was a certain artistic group that was established, and when they heard that Mr. Putin uh, will run for a third term, she says they were excited, and uh, they got inspiration from uh, other feminist groups. Uh, then they joined in a pussy riot group, and uh, their focus was not on uh, faces, but on the images. That's why they use ballot flowers of bright colors. Uh, their focus, they never asked for, for uh, permission for their protest uh, uh, rally. Uh, they say it surprises part of their performance. They uh, performed uh, on uh, Red Square. They performed. Uh, uh, on uh, trolleys, uh, on uh, the buildings of metro stations, and they protested uh, against the fact that Patriarch supported uh, Vladimir Putin. They used uh, the old tra Russian folklore tradition uh, as a prayer which is uh, ad addressed to Virgin Mary. They were against uh, the law uh, which uh, introduced a ban on uh, LGBT propaganda. They were also against Mr. Putin as the uh, president of Russia. She's an orthodox, she has icons at home. She does not uh, experience any hatred towards uh, Christian believers. And uh, on the 21st of February, they came to the cathedral to express uh, their protest against Putin because Patri the Patriarch supported Vladimir Putin. Uh, she, she said that uh, they picked the time uh, which uh, when there was no service so as not to offend uh, a lot of uh, uh, parishioners. They found a place in the heart of the centre, uh, in the heart of the cathedral. There were. They, they, she said that they were looking for a place and they found a place where there were a lot, some carpets. They were not about to enter the altar. They just uh, they got into that place and put, uh, took off the clothing and started to take out the guitar. Someone uh, took her and uh, removed her from the place. She left the cathedral, did not try to get back. She did not take part in the creation or the uploading of the video clip to the internet. No one warned her about uh, the rules of conduct uh, before she entered the cathedral. No one um, detained her when she left. The court believes that uh, the three defendants uh, are guilty of uh, committing the offence. The testimony of defendants and the victims uh, are deemed fair and uh, acceptable. The court uh, deems uh, that uh, they are consistent with the actions uh, that insult the feelings of the believers. Their reactions and the video clip with the text uh, with the actions, uh, that insult the feelings separately and together 
either are insulting believers and displeasing to the feelings, to his feelings and the feelings of all believers, which increases his uh, pain in the uh, last week before Lent. And he identified Telekonikova as one of those who were then in the cathedral last week before Lent. And he did, according to the records, as one of those who were there, Mr. Stomin also identified Alerchen as uh, a person who was there in acceptable clothing, who, together with some such Telekonikova and other unknown individuals, uh, conducted that gross violation of public conduct. Mr. Suganyuk, another uh, man who testified, also said uh, that he's a Christian believer and uh, he works in the, as an altar server. He prepares everything for the service and his member is, helps in the service and then cleans uh, on Solia and the Ambon. These are the sacred places uh, in church. Uh, that's where women are not allowed to be. They are only allowed to be uh, there during the wedding ceremony. So he came in early in the morning and started to prepare for the service. At around 11.20, he saw uh, dancing girls. They were shouting uh, and uh, profanities, and they were dressed unacceptably. They uh, hopped around, uh, and jerked. Uh, they uh, acted uh, in simultaneous way, in a planned way, they uh, violated the normal functioning of the church. He was deeply, he was deeply impressed. Uh, they uh, did not sing anything about Mr. Putin. The words about Putin were added later to the video clip. So that inflicted a severe pain uh, to his soul. Uh, the girls uh, had the bags and clothing which were thrown uh, after they started performing. And there were also, in that sacred area, there were people who took pictures and uh, did the video recording of that. He says uh, that there are special rules, and you could see those rules uh, on that notice uh, of on the entrance, uh, the entrance of the cathedral. He is a Orthodox believer. Observes all uh, the uh, norms uh, and traditions and rituals. Orthodox believer. He wants, uh, he wants to get uh, clerical education. He's been working as a psalm reader. Uh, he prepares uh, for the service. He also helps uh, the priest uh, in any way possible. On the 21st of February, he arrived at the uh, cathedral and started uh, going about his routine chores. At about 11.20, he saw some sound through the microphone. He went out through the altar to the Salia, to the sacred place. He saw these women jumping around. There were other about three or four people who took pictures of these girls. Since the actions of these girls are sacrilegious, a blasphemous, he, as a believer, was insulted and decided to stop this horrible act. The altar server Zelizov, altar boy altar server Zelizov, tried to push them from the Ambon. He demanded that these girls stop these uh, sacrilegious actions. 
But the girl star continued dancing and ignored his uh, call. They shouted uh, blasphemous words which insult God. But the girl star continued and they were in close proximity to the sacred place. Then they started to vow and to cross they were continuing shouting the same blasphemous words which he believes uh, is an insult to all the believers. He believes that these girls did not only aim to insult believers but they had a name to bring uh, more attention to their act by taking the video recording as their act. Later, together with security guards, they pushed them aside from the ambon. Some of the girls took their bags and clothing which were piled in front of the altar, and pushed them aside from the front of the fr sacred words, which could be only entered by priests. They were all dressed in balaclava masks. They were dressed in bright tights and short dresses. Uh, this uh, type of dress is forbidden to wear in a church. They dressed uh, in this way specifically to express their disrespect uh, for church rules. It means that they were in in intent to express their discontent, disrespect for the believers. After that, uh, he was shocked. He deems that this was a desecration. After that, uh, he saw the video clip of the so-called punk prayer, Virgin Mary drive Putin away, deems that this was a desecration. The actions of the girls uh, at the cathedral and the video clip with the lyrics are different to their actions in the cathedral, actual actions in the cathedral. He, what he saw in the video clip was political protest against the Patrick and Putin, while in the church he only heard uh, blasphemous words uh, against uh, insulting God. What he saw in the video clip was political protest against the Patrick and Putin, while and uh, he says that in the video clip uh, they uh, imitate uh, uh, gospels, uh, which uh, is uh, a grave uh, violation uh, of the norms and uh, inflicts uh, severe pain. He also says that this is uh, Christ the Savior Cathedral is the main cathedral of the uh, state. Uh, part of the video was also shot in the Bogoyevlensky Cathedral, and he says it was done state to bring about uh, an insult to incite hatred and enmity against uh, believers, bring about a uh, church, uh, a monument which was built to mark uh, the 1812 uh, building patriotic war against Napoleon, uh, but she could not uh, push them to the exit, but soon came the uh, security guards, but uh, they uh, shouted uh, the words they previously heard. There was no music, there was no songs, there were no slogans. All she heard was just words which uh, inflict severe pain and insult to believers. It's not the way to behave in a church. There was about 50 people there. They were all dressed according to the rules of the church. 
the kind of lady filed a complaint to the uh, police. She saw the video clip, she saw the text, uh, and so the video containing the images, and this is also insulting to her, to her feelings as a Christian, and to all other Christians. Uh, and that was all done to strike, uh, to uh, inflict the pain, moral pain, and that was done in the last week uh, before Lent. The candle lady identified Stelakonikova as the girl who was part of the group that, uh, that uh, committed that uh, sacrilegious act in Christ the Savior Cathedral. She identified a Lurchina as a member of the Pussy Riot group who was uh, in insulting clothing and two together with Telekonikova, Samsevich and other identified associates conducted a gross violation of public order. The sacristan in his testimony says that uh, at uh, about uh, 11.20, he heard some noise and he rushed to the uh, Ambon together with the security guard. She saw some girls dressed uh, unacceptably. They were dressed uh, in uh, bright clothes, uh, shouted profanities, uh, they danced and jerked. Uh, their behavior was not, uh, was unbefitting and violated all imaginable and unimaginable commonly accepted rules of behavior in a church. Telekonico and Delechino were among them. Such behavior insulted his uh, religious feelings and the feelings of other parishioners who were there, and some of them cried, some of them asked uh, uh, so they could stop. He decided to help the two security guards because he saw that they would not be able to uh, stop that act. The uh, girl, when she had tried to push the girl uh, from the ambon, she uh, tried to, she uh, dropped to her knees and started to cross herself uh, with her back to the altar, which is unacceptable. And uh, then he pushed her aside, he took off the balaclava mask from her and saw her face. Then he saw another girl, Telekonikova, who was without her balaclava mask. And there were four girls, the fifth was pushed away by the security guard. There were other girls, there were other people who prevented them from pushing these girls uh, out of the building. He believes that the actions of the girl were aggressive and insulting. They used uh, profanities and uh, he saw the video clip with other testimonies uh, despite the fact that they uh, Pled not guilty. Their guilt uh, is uh, proven by the testimonies. The candle lady uh, in her testimony said that uh, she's a believer, an orthodox believer, and she works as a member of the staff uh, of the Christ the Savior Cathedral. She has a contract uh, with the of the cathedral with the sacristan. So a working day arrived at 5 a.m. and then at 10 a.m. the cathedral opens its doors to the visitors and closes its doors to 6 p.m. On the 21st of uh, no, February, 
and at about 11 a.m. she was uh, right near the candles. A Lieutenant Telekonikov came up to her and asked where shall they put the candles. Telekonik was looking at the altar and Silkagor Square, the candle lady, turned round and saw uh, some noise. She saw the three girls opening the gate and uh, she experienced an inner pain. She rushed for the gate warning the girls that they should not enter the sacred place. But uh, Telekonikova, Alexei and Alekhina were there. She wanted to follow them, but she was uh, pushed aside by someone. One of the girls she tried to hold uh, brushed her aside and uh, they reached the ambon before the sacred doors. She, however, did not enter that place because no woman is uh, allowed to enter that place. And at uh, that time, uh, the other group members uh, ran onto the uh, Ambon. She tried to warn them again, but they ignored her. She threw the, uh, their bags around, they took off their clothing, they put on uh, balaclavas, uh, and they were still in their dresses uh, with their shoulders and knees open, which was unacceptable for the church. And they opened the guitar and started to jerk around, uh, hopping, twirling their heads and moving their hands and uh, shouting some insulting and very blasphemous words about uh, Virgin Mary, about the Patriarch. It was a planned action. It was done simul almost simultaneously, and uh, it was uh, there was one commander. And they had uh, rules divided, and the parishioners, uh, the staff, were shocked by their actions. There was also some people who accompanied them, and uh, they also entered the sacred place, uh, the fenced off place. They recorded. Uh, uh, the candle lady warned these people that they, it's forbidden for them to be there. And video recording is also forbidden there, and there is a sign that warns at the a door of the church. She saw some other people there, people standing there and uh, recording a video of that. She demanded they stop the video recording, started to push them to the exit. And until feelings as a believer were insulted, deeply insulted, and to stop these actions, uh, which ignore the feelings of uh, believers, she called for help. She never thought that could take place in the main building of uh, the Orthodox 